last bit of this section deals with some application problems using this new substitution method that we have. So that first question, we have a standard rectangular highway billboard and it has a perimeter of 124 feet. And we know the length is 34 feet more than the width. We want to find the dimensions. So first of all, we have to talk about what does it mean to be the perimeter of something all the way around the outside. So my perimeter is two times the length, two times the width, if I add up all the sides. So length, width, length, width. We can write it concisely like that. So I know the perimeter, I know this one piece of information. So in my system, I know that P is 124, and that is two times the length plus two times the width, since we know the perimeter is 124 feet. But we only have one equation, two unknowns. So we need some more information. The second line gives us that. The length is 34 feet more than the width. So I know that L is equal to, just parsing down the sentence, the length is 34 feet more than the width. So the width plus another 34 feet gives us the length. Now can we solve? Yes, using that substitution method, what do we want to do? L is already isolated, so let's sub 2 into 1. So I'm looking at 124 is 2 times what I know L is equivalent to, 34 plus W, and don't forget the rest of the equation. So now everything is in terms of one variable, the width, which is good. So let's start solving. We want to get rid of the parentheses, so we have to distribute 2 into each of these terms. We can combine our like terms. I've got 4 W's. We want to get the constants on the same side, so if I subtract 68 from both sides, looking at 56 is 4W, and we want W on, on its own, we'll divide by 4, W is equal to 14. And with application problems, we want to talk about the units. So W, we let be the width of the billboard, and those units are in feet. So we figured out one piece, we know what the width is, how can we figure out the length? What's the easiest thing to do? Plug it back into the second equation, since L is already isolated. The length is 34 feet more than the width, so if we add those together, the length is 48 feet. So the dimensions of the billboard are... 14 by 48 feet. And if you don't think you did it right or you weren't quite sure, add them all up. If I add width, width, length, and length together, I should get 124. So go ahead and take that last example for yourself. The perimeter of a soccer field is 280 yards. The width is five more than half of the length. Find the dimensions. So what formula are we dealing with? That perimeter, adding up all the outsides, is 280. That's usually the easiest one to pluck off. So 280 is equal to 2W plus 2L. Two times the length, two times the width. And our other piece of information, the width is five more than half of the length. So L divided by two. So, again, what's easiest to sub? 2 into 1. Wherever I see a W, I'm going to plug in my equivalent expression. 5 plus L divided by 2 plus another 2L. So in the first case, we solved for W. In this case, we're solving for L. Totally fine. We will get both pieces. So let's start distributing to get rid of those parentheses. So 280 is 10 plus what value? 2 divided by 2 is 1. We're just going to be left with L. And I've got two L's, so we can combine those like terms. Next, subtract 10 from both sides is equal to 3L. So when we do that division, we're looking at 
L is equal to 90. And in this case, we were dealing with yards, not feet. That would be a very small lacrosse field. Okay, so we found the length. We want to find the dimensions. We also need the width. So the easiest one to plug back into, again, is the second equation. So solving for W, W is 5 plus 90 divided by 2. So 5 plus 45 gives us 50 yards. So the dimensions of a lacrosse field. Dimensions of lacrosse field are 50 by 90 yards. And we can always double check, plug those values back into our original equations, make sure they hold true.